Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and welcome to the first episode of Nintendo Presents. That's not the that's not the Let's Play, but The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. All right, so after that uh, cutscene, hearing a disembodied voice, uh, controls obviously they'll show you at the bottom. Uh, obviously, pause and you get to show your inventory, L and R. And uh, as you can see, it has DLC as well, which we actually will be doing. Uh, we aren't going to be doing this 100%. Obviously, here's your saves and your loads. Uh, move with the control stick, cameras with the the right stick, and obviously. Uh, Running with the B, holding the B button, you have a stamina meter, and obviously you press A to do your certain actions. All right, we obtained the Sheikah Slate. So, uh, as you can see, there's a few other things. There's a map on the bottom right, and there's a temperature and sound uh, thing as well. So, you get to see what's going on there. Anyways, uh, obviously you could grab stuff and throw them. This is shown here. And there's a few chests. Um, trousers. Yeah, we're getting some, uh, this is like the first Zelda game where you have certain equips besides the, uh, masks and the Majora's Mask. Old shirt. Nice. Not much in here. Uh, let's go equip these two while we're at it. Nice. Nice. show you the way. And uh, this is the first game with voice acting, so as you can see, the first Zelda game with uh, major voice acting. Which is uh, pretty cool, not gonna lie. It's a uh, pretty uh, long-awaited uh, addition to Zelda games. And there's the outside. Name. 
sake. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. All right, we're free to go. Uh, now they're showing us access to jump. Obviously, beat a sprint. I said that earlier. Y is for your sword, but we don't have any weapons at the moment. And most iconic scene in the entire game. Whole vast world ahead of us. And there's someone over there who just spotted us. So here we are in the Great Plateau. Uh, the Great Plateau is obviously one of the first starting areas, and we got ourselves a tree branch. And there's how we could use a weapon, so it's one of our first weapons that we'll get. And uh, the D-pad, you get to use to change your weapons and whatnot. And put it away. Press up to whistle. Yeah, and you get to climb up trees and such, so there's a whole bunch of things to do. Uh, also some hidden stuff as well. Uh, you get to actually chop down trees. And also, uh, there is weapon durability as well, so you might want to be aware of that. Got a Hylian Mushroom, nice. That's to stock up on some items. Some more mushrooms over here. Yeah, so there's not much we have right now. Yeah, you get to push boulders like that around, and it's going all the way down. Holy shit. Anyways, we got this old man over here. Oh ho ho, well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. temple there long ago it was the site of many sacred ceremonies ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago it has sat abandoned in this state of decay yet another forgotten entity a mere ghost of its former self i shall be here for some time please let me know if i may be of service got ourselves a baked apple i beg your pardon i do believe that is my baked apple you can't just go and take what taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me, I couldn't resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Never actually had an, uh, an apple. Oh, well, a baked, I guess a cooked apple, I guess. I guess that was a regular apple, so... Yeah, there's some apple trees and you obviously get to collect what's inside. Well, uh, not what's inside, but what's on them. And yeah, obviously our weapon durability isn't the best at the moment, but we could find some stuff lying around. And, speaking of which, we got a woodcutter's axe, so uh, axes here are really good. Uh, there we go. Uh, obviously they could be used to cut down trees, but they also could be used to, uh, well, obviously attack. Oh. 
Once again, that mysterious voice is calling out. Bob, we were stuck for a second. So we got our first quest as well. As you can see, the bottom right shows one of the uh, first places to go to, so let's head off. Yeah, there's a bunch of messed up ruins here. And we already hear something. Music has changed. And we got ourselves a choo-choo! This is one of the first few enemies that we'll see on our journey, and it drops choo-choo jelly. The uh, Zelda staple enemy. And we got some more staple enemies over there. Obviously you could jump while you're climbing, so there's a bunch of things that you could do. And we got a high-tail lizard that was hiding inside there. Let's see what's in here. A roasted bird drumstick. Okay, that's pretty weird that there's a drumstick in there. I wonder how long it's actually been in there for. Now, you actually could press on the stick to actually make yourself uh, do any sort of stealth movement. Sneak up on this guy. Oh. And we could take his weapon. He's got a Boko Club. These are Bokoblins. Uh, you could also throw weapons as well, which is pretty funny. And obviously you could come down with that. And there's whole different combos depending on your weapon. And drop the Bokoblin Horn. So yeah, you can also collect uh, items from defeated enemies besides their weapons. They also will drop things that you can make to craft later on in the game. And yeah. So uh, you guys may be wondering why did you pick this as your next Let's Play. I actually want to do a Zelda game for the longest time again. But I just didn't know what. And uh, also they have a little... Uh, just before I continue on with what I want to say. You can also uh, Z tar target with your, uh, the ZL button. But yeah, uh, I want to do a Zelda game for the longest time again, because it's been a very long while since we did uh, Wind Waker. And I... Oh, there's another choo-choo. Been a long time since we've done Wind Waker, and I just really wanted to to do a Zelda game. And especially for Let's Play 25, I think it was a pretty good idea to do so. And we got Hylian Trousers, so... I guess we got some, some upgrades already. You can see our stamina isn't really the highest, so we can't really do much yet with it. Anyways. There's something up there. And, oh! Got ourselves a, an entire camp here of Boat Coblins. So yeah, they have an entire, an entire slab of meat, but... There is uh, one way to get rid of them. Obviously pushing this boulder down. And we got ourselves a seared stake. And you get to collect their weapons too, so... Also, some weapons may or may not be uh, better than others, as you can see by the plus and minus signs. Got more fangs. And there's an entire base there, too, so they're pretty much everywhere. Let's see if there's anything over here. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty long Let's Play. Uh, I don't... I, I am... Again, I'm going to plan on doing the DLC as well. Uh, and we're not going to 100% it, but I believe we're going to try and... Uh, Oh yeah, and that happens as well. Uh, they will if they see you. They have these uh, exclamation and uh, question marks above their head. Once that question mark gauge is full, they will notice and attack you. As you can see, that guy has a bow and arrow, so we could get ourselves a bow and arrow if we manage to defeat him. So yeah, this is just an exploration episode, obviously to get around and whatnot. But we also need to get to our first objective. See, there's nothing up here at the moment. Ok, 
can really do much about that either. And you can sneak like that. Oh my god, the camera's like zoomed in on Link's uh, body. Oh, something spotted us. I don't want him alerting everyone. So yeah, the sounds that they make... Oh, we got ourselves some arrows. He dropped his bow. And yes, he did. And we could equip it by... Oh, whoa, there's an entire new Vokoblin. So yeah, the higher their colors get, the more powerful the Vokoblin is. As you can see, these are red and blue. I don't know why this one's still following us. Wow, they sure run fast when they're going back to their base, but when it comes to chasing after us, they don't, can't really do much. And let's get that up. Oh, no, no, why did I do that? I gotta cancel that, or else they probably would have went out again. Okay, let's take out a club. Uh... Let's equip a bow and arrow. Actually, you could also get some shields as well. And sneak right in. I thought that thing would drop already. I think maybe it's the line itself rather than the thing. There we go. Or. Just do this instead. And yeah, there's also gyro controls. Whoa! And we died. Yeah, thank God there's an autosave system. So yeah, there. When during the beginning you will die a lot. Even for someone like me who's played this game for a while, I've died quite a few times. Especially doing something risky. Wonder if it did autosave. Yeah, it did. Okay, there we go. We actually did it properly this time. And obviously headshots do a lot more damage. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Alright, I guess that's our strategy. And there we go, we have defeated a very hard enemy, and we actually got some really good uh, loot out of it. So yeah, once you conquer a base, get a treasure chest from there. Where is our health low? Alright, oh, we, like, we got another bow. It's really good. Oh, we... Oh yeah, so uh, obviously we have a limited amount of space to carry stuff. We will eventually get more uh, later on. Got some fire arrows. Nice. All right. Uh, we are low in health, so obviously the best if you want to heal yourself. If you in this game, I don't think there's any hearts uh, compared to other Zelda games, so you actually have to heal yourself by eating. And there we go. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we could head off now. Now that we uh, beaten that base, and follow that path. As you can see, there's something poking up out there, so let's head to it. Um, we see some more enemies there.
Let's see, we're getting close to it, but let's see what these guys have. Oh! Uh, I don't want to have fire arrows out. Oh, because we ran out of everything else. Oh, well. Alright, screw it. Uh, oh my god, I keep forgetting which one to do. And yeah, they will throw rocks as like a desperation, which is pretty funny. Surprised that other one didn't drop its shield. This one, we could make it drop its shield. We're actually pretty close to our destination. Oh, this one actually has a legitimate sword. Right, let's grab... And we get the Boko Shield and a Traveler Sword. And obviously the shield here, uh, gets a, there's a few uh, techniques that you can learn. There's parrying. As you can see right there, you have the shield out and you press A. You have to time it right and you get to parry and reflect uh, attacks and, uh, and uh, arrows, which is uh, pretty good. You can see, there it is. There's our destination. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this Let's Play is going to be, but basically we're going to get all the requirements done to get the best ending, and obviously do the DLC as a bonus. And that's what I believe we'll, what we're going to do for this Let's Play, so please watch out for Fallen Rocks, that's what it's saying. But yeah, that's our plan for this Let's Play. And whoa! All the enemies are scared too of the huge earthquake. And multiple of these things are sprouting up across the land. So these are one of the first few in the game, and I will be explained in just a moment what it is. Yes, these are the towers. So this is specifically the Great Plateau Tower. We got ourselves the first area uncovered. So we got the entire map. So now we know where to go, what layers of uh, rock we're able to go through and whatnot. There's a whole bunch of stuff to really do on that map. Oh. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. Regains its true power. This world will face its end. Now then, you must hurry, Link, before it's too late. The mysterious voice is calling us out, and once more, we gotta follow this Sheikah Slate. I think we're going, but I think we're gonna be saving that for the next episode. 
So love my videos, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, we appreciate it. That mysterious voice has been telling us that we've been asleep for the past 100 years, so we're going to have to find out more about ourselves.